Alien 3, 1992, Movie Review Alien 3 puts yet another inspired visualist behind the camera of the Alien franchise, for the third in a series, started in 1979 by Ridley Scott and revisited in 1986 by James Cameron. Following this tradition, in 1992 director David Fincher, made a visually distinctive sequel whose outcome was nonetheless considered by most to be a major disappointment. Each entry in the franchise is set apart by the ingrained personal style of its director, who in turn marries his own visual signatures with the atmosphere of their science fiction setting. Scott and Cameron both made superbly innovative films, whereas Fincher, an acclaimed music video director but first-time filmmaker, came into a maligned studio production and was forced to shoot with a limited budget and incomplete script, thus his vision is less cemented in the finished film. Still, his presence lingers in the surface polish, or intended lack thereof. Having survived a long and strenuous development and production process, Alien 3 made it to cinemas only after much studio tampering and led to Finch eventually disowning the end result. What we're left with is a film to feel conflicted about, but ultimately admire from a minimum safe distance.